the inevitable is coming probably faster than you think. That sounded a little weird, but either way, guys, we do have the potential robot umpires coming to Major League Baseball possibly as soon as next year or the year after. The way these are going to be implemented and deployed is not how you think. It's not the literal sense of it. There's still going to be an umpire behind home plate. I'm going to go through the articles talking about how the automated strike zone has acted in the minor leagues and kind of an overall bigger point to start off this video. I want to say when it comes to whatever you want to call it, robot umps, you know, automated strike zone, the big issue is the looping curveball in my opinion. So what tends to happen with these automated strike zones, you'll get a pitch that has such a high arc, a catcher might catch it like in the dirt. I've actually seen somewhere a ball hits the dirt and they call it a strike because it's all about where the ball intercepts over the plate. And you may say, well, that's good because it's accurate. I think that's a little bit ridiculous. The idea that a ball can be near or in the dirt and still get called a strike just because of where it crosses home plate. That's, imagine getting called out on a third strike like that. That to me is the only potential big flaw when it comes to these robot umps. Now, originally about four or five years ago, I did like the aspect of human error. And honestly, I still kind of do. There are a ton of people that constantly complain about umps. It's the exact same thing with NFL refs. It's the exact same thing with NBA officials. People are going to complain about who's making the calls, calls that go against their team. It is the nature of the business. It's crazy considering you would think based on history, umpires are probably more accurate than they've ever been because they're being audited basically every night and you can see their little scorecards and their grades on how many calls they got right, how many calls they missed. So I would say they're probably more accurate than ever and people are still complaining because we've got more access to the internet and obviously they do miss significantly big calls and fans are going to be angry about it. But people saying and fear-mongering that umpires are the worst they've ever been that's highly, highly doubtful. Actually, it's impossible. If you go back to the 90s, some of the strike zones, the you know best pitchers were given were just outrageous. It was almost like a badge of honor. If you're a great pitcher, you're going to be given a bigger strike zone. Well, that makes no sense because they're already great, a great pitcher. Do they really need more help? But I did used to like the human aspect of it. Like if a, a, an umpire was calling an outside pitch consistently throughout the entire game, that's fine. That's not a big deal. But we understand now in 2024, in a word, everything is optimized. Think about what we're doing with the pitch clock. Everyone came out. People were like, no way. This is ridiculous. You can't put a clock on Major League Baseball and people have adapted to it. They're trying different things, radical things. How about the runner starting at second base? Ten years ago, we would say that's Little League. That's never going to happen. What about the seven inning double headers they did there for a few years? They're trying different things. So this umpire, the robot umps, it's inevitable. It's just a matter of when does it get perfected in the minor leagues to be able to bring on to the major league clubs. And you can see our robot umpires ready for their MLB debut. Not so fast. This article came out last August. MLB just tweaked AAA's electronic strike zone. What you need to know and why that matters. So yeah, this was very strange. And it just, it just goes to show you how MLB, they treat AAA as a training ground for MLB rules. They tweaked the AAA strike zone mid-season. <laughs> now, obviously, that would never happen in Major League Baseball, but you can see what they did. As you can see, it says the old zone moving down about a sentence. As part of that experiment, the league also lowered the top of the strike zone by about two inches. So as the lower zone been a popular change, and this is, this is their testing. They're, they're trying to perfect the automated strike zone in the minor leagues. This has been going on for multiple years now. It started at low A and now it's it's come up to double and triple A. 
and you can see they've got a new zone. There's some other interesting questions. Why would MLB change the AAA strike zone in midseason? Because it's a training ground, let's be honest. And you, you can see people are pissed off, obviously, at the umpires. The outrage is only going to get louder as we get more and more connected to the internet and people have more and more access to speak their mind. This is what happens on the internet. There, people are always angry. And look, I'm not saying the umpires do a good job, but it is a constant complaint. Yes, they're going to miss calls. Why don't we, we have the technology, let's implement something to correct that. And technically, you can kind of smooth this in. An umpire is still going to be behind home plate. They're not going to lose their job. There's not going to be less umpires on the field. But the umpire is likely going to be wearing something, have something in his ear that will tell him if it's a ball or a strike. And that's how he's going to be calling. Now, if you want to go even softer than doing that, because again, it's not like there's a robot behind home plate or there's nothing there. There's still going to be the umpire there. You can have the umpire just call the game like he normally would and give teams challenges very similar to tennis when a ball is very close to being in or out. You've got Novak Djokovic saying, I want to challenge that. Let's go to the replay and see a zoomed in shot of if it was in or out. It's the same thing with the strike zone. When a player, if he thinks that a pitch is outside, he can challenge it. And I believe you would have unlimited challenges. I, as long as you, you might have three challenges and then if you lose them, it'll be something like that. And that would kind of be an interesting strategy. And that might be the better way because I was reading an article and yeah, if you're using the robot the whole time, imagine if it's like a 14 to three game in the eighth inning and a pitch is an inch outside. And you've got like, oh, this is another big problem with MLB. And people don't, it's interesting how people don't care about this, but the, the amount of position players pitching, I think it's horrible for the product. I mean, they will put in a position player when their team is losing 7-1. to one. I understand there's a very small chance they could come back, but isn't that not just a bad product? It's a six-run game. Why is a, a, a shortstop lobbing a 55-mile-per-hour fastball, and, and it's like we're playing softball here, and it's 7-1? to one. The position player pitching when I was younger, it was so cool. It was very unique. It maybe only happened eight to 10 times a year, but still, I think that's gone completely off the rails. If I was MLB, I'd be like, this is just not going to happen. We will give you an extra reliever to not have you guys do this position player stuff pitching. All right. If it's 14 to nothing, I get it. It's cool for the fans. That's sweet, but it's happening every night. I, I actually think it has been corrected. It might have been last year or the year before last year. Every single night, it's like 3-2, to two, there's a position player pitching. All right, it's not that bad, but it's just like, come on. We have enough position players pitching. It's a gimmick. But either way, getting back to this story, I actually lost my train of thought there. When it comes to this, you can smooth it in by allowing the challenges, and that's the strategy, right? It's kind of like the NFL. The NFL technically could get every single spot and every single call right. They have the technology to do it, but they give the referees the option. They let them make the call, and then you can challenge it, and it's a reward system. If you win your challenge, you get another challenge. It would be the same thing for an MLB automatic strike zone where it's a strategy. You know, if it's if it's a 1-0 count, do you want to challenge it? Or maybe you lose the challenge and you're down to two challenges. I don't know how many challenges they would get, but that is more along the line of you you're implementing that technology, but you're still allowing the umpire to make the call. The argument against that would be it would just slow the game down. Because if you just allow the umpire to have something buzzing in his ear and tell him ball strike and he just calls it like a robot. That would definitely be very fast for the game. There would be no arguments. Ironclad, there's a strike zone. And the strike zone would be adjusted per the height of the hitter. Obviously, Jose Altuve versus Aaron Judge, they cannot have the same strike zone. It just doesn't make any sense. And so I think what they'll end up doing is they will have to take the player's measurements before the start of the season, the exact measurements, and custom fit strike zones Although they're all going to be relatively similar, it's not going to be crazy different, but I do believe they will be slightly different based on height. So this is happening. I do think they could go with the soft landing where they implement this technology, but you're still going to have the umpires presiding over the game. And if they want to call a pitch that's outside a strike, it's going to be up to the hitter to challenge that and correct the umpire, and you could argue, well, it slows the game down, but I do think that will be the compromise and the only way we go further than that to where it's just all automated is if it really slows the game down and it's just so choppy and there's 50 challenges. And people do think, because they think umpires are horrible, 
And I'm not trying to defend umpires, but they normally, it's about 94, 95% of the calls are correct. You know, they think, it will, oh, they're going to get 100 calls wrong, so the game's going to be slowed down so much. There's going to be so many challenges. I don't necessarily think that's going to happen. And it's also going to force the umpires to get better because they realize it's not just an audit at the end of the game, after the game ends, it's during the game. If you constantly miss calls, it's going to be embarrassing because these teams are going to be challenging, 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 and they're going to be winning all their challenges, so they'll get more challenges. So this is very interesting, but this is something that is coming. It's coming quickly. How can they fully optimize it for minor league baseball to get it ready? They've tweaked the strike zone several times. It's just when it's ready, it's going to be here. That's my opinion. We've seen MLB already change their game drastically to suit modern standards with the pitch clock, with the runner on second base, with for a short time period, the seven inning, seven inning double headers. So this will be happening for sure once they perfect it. And it's going to be a soft landing, probably with challenges, and then possibly go full robot where the umpires are just getting the call from the electronics and doing whatever they say. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.